Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Tuesday edition of uh, Interesting Ideas. My name is Stan Houston, and I thank you for your time. As we are in this Tuesday, the week uh, seems to be uh, a challenging one before us. It is obvious that uh, the inflation is probably going to get worse, and it is already quite aggravating to many. How many would even think that we would be short of baby formula? In the United States of America, we are short of baby formula? Well, that's what's happening. And, of course, uh, if you can find it, the price is going up. So we are discovering that uh, the inflation is continuing. And now the uh, news sources and some of the legends and stories that are coming out as a result of the stock market turbulence is that we are headed for a recession. So we may have, in terms of our economy, some of the worst of all possible situations, and that is rising inflation. Things cost more and more, and we have less and less money because we may go into a business recession. People are already losing their jobs, and many organizations are already going through the process of downsizing, getting ready, as they say, uh, you know, kind of hunkering down to get through this coming situation. So not only do we need some interesting ideas as to what to do, we're going to also need some courage and some wisdom and some strength and some power to get through it all. So on this Tuesday, I'm going to talk about perhaps a very interesting idea that came to me that is related to increasing things in our lives, increasing things in our business, expanding our territory. We talked about expanding our territory. What else do we need to expand? Well, could it be that we should seek or at least be aware of Maybe be ready for an expansion of our, uh, yeah, of our problems and uh, our pressure. Should we be asking for an expansion of our problems and our pressure? Well, that's what the program is going to be about. It's just a short thought for your really busy on this Tuesday but perhaps it will be a way of looking and seeking some strength as we deal, indeed, with an interesting idea. And we're back. Yes, we talked about uh, the... Uh, increasing our territory, expanding our territory. And we're going to be talking about that this week, and we're going to be doing so in a very positive way. Uh, tomorrow you're going to learn a little bit about how you should expand your staff. You should hire, appoint, find a CHO. That's right, a CHO. And you're going to need... A C W O. That's right, a C W O. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that on Wednesday, but you just think about that. What do you think that might be? A C H O and a C W O. I was going through one of my classic books on uh, devotions, and I'm a man of deep faith. I'm trying to get deeper into my faith. And I have found out that uh, oftentimes the best sources are to go back to some of the old books. Uh, I have one that was written about a hundred years ago, which sits uh, on my uh, programming table. And it's always open, and I read through it in some way every day. It also has an incredible amount of little red stickies that I've put on it from past readings 
because that reminds me that there's probably a good idea that I should look at again. The book is called Streams in the Desert. It's an old book. As I said, it's 100 years old. There's also an edition done by a very fine uh, fan of the book who kind of updated the uh, language a bit, since it truly is the uh, kind of classical English, a little bit of, uh, as someone said, uh, the outdated words and sometimes uh, phrases of 100 years ago. I like both, but I still kind of like it since I'm as my... uh, Daughters would say, Dad, we know you're old school, and indeed I am. So I like that. But I put those two together, and what I came up with was someone who said this. In effect, uh, be glad for your pressure. Yeah, welcome your pressure. And then someone else said, welcome your problems. (laughs) What? Welcome your problems and welcome your pressure. First of all, why should I welcome my problems? Well, as one colleague of that said, hey, that gives you an opportunity to have some empathy for people who have some really tough problems. Obviously, whatever your problems are, there are many people who are going through even greater ones. So it may deepen and it may kind of expand your empathy for others. People who have so much money and so much good fortune that they don't have many problems seem to lack some of the human qualities that they need, particularly compassion and empathy for others. So could it be that... Welcoming your problems is a way of expanding your empathy, your compassion, your understanding of what people are going through. And uh, one of the uh, legitimate criticisms of many of our leaders today, and many of them have a great deal of power and, and they have a great deal of authority, but they don't have much wisdom or common sense and they live in a bubble in which they are not able to understand what some of the things they do do to people like us. So perhaps we should welcome our problems from time to time. But then going back to the pressure, could it be that it is pressure which gives us what we really want in life and business? In the Lord's Prayer, it ends up with a rather interesting expression. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Thine. (laughs) To God. And he's willing to share it with us. The kingdom. He'll share it with us. The glory. He'll share it with us. The power. He will share it with us. Oftentimes I've said to people, particularly in my counseling and coaching, uh, would you like to be great? And it's an interesting question. And of course, uh, there are all kinds of answers to that. And then I simply suggest that uh, perhaps they should tell me what they think great is. What does it mean to be great? And would you like to be that? But here's another question. Would you like to be powerful? Would you like to have personal power? You know, that confidence that you are brave and bold, courageous, confident, that you have power. You are a person of power. Not power over others, necessarily, But that might be something that's involved in authority and leadership. But you have the power to do good things. Well, here's what my mentor told me. The power only comes as you go through pressure. It is dealing with the pressure in our lives. And right now I'm going through 
I think my fair share right now with building a new business, with uh, children who need help, and a wife who has some health issues, we've got some pressure in my life. Every day, I live under pressure. But the mentor comes back to me and says, Stan, without the pressure, there'll be no power. The power that you want to build a business, to achieve good things, to make a difference in the world, that kind of power will only increase in your life as you deal with increasing pressure. It is in dealing with pressure that the power comes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Here, one of the more desirable things that we want in our life and in our business is uh, the power to do things and maybe to do good things and to achieve maybe even some great things. We want the power to do that. And then there is the truth of real wisdom, which says, and the power only comes when you work on the problems, when you seek to solve them, and when you deal with the pressure. One of my mottos is, press on. And of course, the response to that is, press on under the pressure. I'm Stan Houston. These are interesting ideas, and I hope they're helpful to you in some way today. We'll be right back. My job on this program is to help you be different, unique, maybe better, and to have interesting ideas, to help you be more interested in other people, and to bring that power into your life, to make you perhaps even more fully human. Think about that. That's one of the goals. I'd like you to reach out to me for two things. First of all, I want to help you get on the radio. I want to help you expand your influence by doing exactly what I'm doing learning how to be a worldwide podcaster. I can do that for you. I do it well. I've got probably a half century of experience, and I can help you. So please do that. Reach out to me at stanhusted at gmail.com, stanhusted at gmail.com. Go to our web stage, witradio.net, witradio.net, and uh, check it out. Also, in terms of coaching and mentoring and helping you build a business that matters and makes a difference, I can do that, and I believe I do it pretty well. I think I have the spirit force power to help you, so please reach out to me at stanhusted at gmail.com, stanhusted at gmail.com, and let's talk. Tell me your story. I'll share some ideas, and let's see if I can be helpful, useful, practical, and maybe even profitable for you, your team, your colleagues, and your good business. Always close with a benediction, so may it go very, very well for you today, and particularly as these challenging times are coming. May we have the courage and the wisdom and the ability to make it better. For us, our family, our business, our colleagues, our community, and uh, for others. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.